Hello, I'm Virginia Wage, and I like to read. And I'm helping Read Aloud Delaware this summer, making books available to children online. This book is called Ice Cream Summer, and it's by Peter Cease. And I want you to notice that there are, there's our main character, Joe, and there are a lot of ice cream cones. Please notice the ice cream cones. Joe has just gotten a letter from his grandfather. Hi, Joe. How's your summer going? I hope you will tell me about what you learned this summer when we meet for our special trip later. Love, Grandpa. Joe answers, Dear Grandpa, thank you for your letter. So far it's been a delicious summer. I am very, very busy. What's he doing? He's making ice cream molds in the sand. He's having a good time. Don't worry, I am, I'm not forgetting about school. I read every day. I am conquering big words like tornado and explosion. Those are names of ice cream cones. Peach explosion. I write a lot and I may even write a book. Here he's writing a book, creating a book all of his own. I practice my math facts. 10 scoops plus 3 scoops equals how many scoops? Sometimes I trip over a simple equation, but if I slow down, I don't know, I, I usually get it right. Word problems are never any problem for me. I work them out on my own. If there are 65 days of summer and I eat one ice cream cone every day, how many ice cream cones will I eat before school starts? He really likes math, doesn't he? And he likes ice cream, I think. He works with his family on, on the numbers, too. If all six of us eat one ice cream cone with two scoops, how many scoops do we eat in total? At day camp, my friends and I study all sorts of fascinating things. Today, we learned cartography. What is that? Well, that means how to make maps. We take a whole lot of interesting field trips, too. And we explore all kinds of new places, like the Statue of Liberty, who has an ice cream cone on her porch. You can be sure my brain is working and I am reading the encyclopedias you gave me. I'm diving into world history. I'm traveling to ancient China, where I learned 2,000 years ago the first ice cream cone was enjoyed. And I'm researching the whole European continent. All kinds of ice cream facts. And I wouldn't get, forget American history. The Founding Fathers and I have a lot in common. James Madison learned, or learned how to eat ice cream with strawberries. As you can see, Grandpa, I've been working hard all summer, although I always take a break on Sundays. I have definitely earned the special trip you mentioned. I can't wait to find out where we are going. To the top of the ice cream peak, maybe? Wow, this is the best summer ever. And I think it's time for all of us to go get an ice cream cone.